Out of all the trailers that we got at the Disney Investor Day, specifically for Marvel, this is probably the craziest one, and it's only like two minutes long, but they packed so much into this trailer, it's just absolutely insane. So there's a lot to break down, so let's go ahead and jump into it, because like I said, there's a lot to talk about here. So, of course, we start off by seeing a replay of that scene in Endgame with Loki, confirming that no, they are not bringing Loki back to life. That Loki is dead, and this is a completely different version. It's the version we saw in Avengers Endgame. And, of course, he was able to get his hands on the Tesseract, and then he portals away. And it looks like the the Tesseract seems to work in, in a way similar to the Bifrost, so that's interesting seeing that here because it does look very similar and may even be the same sort of kind of magic and stuff going on there but then loki lands in some sort of desert um you know getting all sandy and stuff and he's just super confused because he's like i don't know what's going on but i'm just glad i got away from the avengers um so now things are good and then these these people living there are just like who are you so yeah uh, and then, of course, we get the Marvel Studios logo, and it goes from, like, a bunch of uh, L's and O's and K's and I's and different fonts just floating around to the actual Marvel Studios logo. Um, and then we see this really cool elevator, and this is at the TVA, which uh, Owen Wilson's character talks about here. Um, and the elevator thing here, you know, like, when you go in an elevator, you choose which floor you're going to. Well, this is a very different kind of elevator. Um for each different floor there's like three different characters uh some have numbers some have letters you know it's i i assume it has something to do with the different time periods but i'm not exactly sure you know what what means what stuff so if you can figure out figure it out let me know in the comments below but i that that'd be a lot of work so go ahead and try it if you want but then, like I said, good old Owen Wilson, he is here, of course, we knew he was going to be starring in this series, and we knew that he was going to be having some sort of role at the TVA in the Time Variance Authority, and uh, in if you turn on the subtitles for this, um, it actually reveals the name of his character, and his character, at least according to the subtitles, is named Mobius M. Mobius. Um... So that's definitely interesting there. In the comics, all of the people working at the TVA have some pretty funky names. So, you know, th that has to be expected. And um, basically, Mobius is introducing Loki to the TVA. And the TVA is basically, they're time cops. They control what goes on in time, make sure that there's no time anomalies, make sure everything is going the way it should be, uh, kind of reminds me of, like, Legends of Tomorrow, like, the whole point of that show is that they travel through time, making sure that the timeline is safe and everything, so that's what it kind of reminds me of, um, but Loki, of course, he has to kind of answer for his crimes, because this isn't what was supposed to happen, he wasn't supposed to grab that Tesseract and teleport away, but he did, so now he has to answer for his crimes, and, he is going to have to serve out his sentence by helping out the TVA. Um, and then this is where things get freaky. Uh, if you're confused already, then good luck with these next parts. Because this is when we get introduced to, I think, our villain of the series. We don't know who exactly it is. It's some person in a hood. They're out here in this field of tall grass. And they drop this lantern, set it all on fire... And there's some sort of soldier here. I, this might be a TVA soldier. Uh, but clearly he's not making it out of this alive. And then you get this really cool but scary shot of the villain. And we never find out who that villain is. It's just some, someone in a hood. Um, but I'm going to take a guess and say that maybe it's Sofia DiMartino's character. Um, who I think will be the main villain of the series. And we don't know for sure who she is playing. She was spotted on set wearing some sort of green outfit. So I'm going to assume she's either playing Lady Loki. Which is a female version of Loki. So that could be a different version of Loki from an alternate timeline. And that could be why the TVA specifically wants Loki's help to take down this villain. Because it's an alternate version of him. 
Or this could also be the MCU's version of Enchantress, who has also been rumored to appear in the series as well. So I don't know exactly sure which one it is, but you know, we'll see. And we do actually see the character later on in the trailer without the hood, if that's who this actually is. This could be someone con totally different, like maybe it could be Richard E. Grant's character, so who knows. Then we see Loki again. Um, looks like he's got his suit on from the first Avengers movie, suiting up and everything. And then this is where I, I get really excited because as you can see, he, he's got the TVA jumpsuit on. He's being handcuffed. He's walking down somewhere. And you see these three giant faces. And then you see a zoom in of it with this judge here. So I assume, like I said, he's being judged for his crimes and they ultimately come up with the decision like, hey, if you help us out, we'll let you go free or whatever. But you look at these three faces in the background, and this clearly has to represent who is in charge of the TVA. Because Mobius, even though he is technically kind of in charge of the TVA, and he's like the TVA manager, there's got to be some bigger force that is controlling them and kind of like leading them. And... With these three faces, this could be teasing the Living tribu Tribunal, so that could totally be what this is, but I think that this is actually Kang, and this could actually be the Council of Kangs, which would be really awesome to see, especially because we know that we're getting Kang the Conqueror in Ant-Man 3. That was confirmed by Kevin Feige the other day. Uh, he's going to be played by Jonathan Majors, so it, it's also been heavily rumored that Kang would have an appearance in this series, and... Who knows, maybe he'll even be the main villain of this, so I don't know, but um, Loki, he clearly he doesn't like this decision, but he doesn't really have a choice. Um, and then we see some other statues that are bigger, um, and these the, the reason that this makes me think that this is the Council of Kangs, or at least just Kang the Conqueror, is that with these faces, it looks very much like Jonathan Major's face, and... Uh, like a lot of fan art that I've seen of Jonathan Majors as Kang the Conqueror, uh, the face just looks very similar in the facial structure and everything. So I, I think that this is Kang. I mean, it could be something else, but that's just what I think it is for now. All right, now moving on. As you can see, the TVA is doing some sort of presentation to Loki to basically fill him in on what's been going on, what the plan is, what they need to accomplish. So they're using all these holograms. And it looks like it, maybe they're like scanning his mind and showing his memories or maybe they're showing him alternate versions of Loki throughout history and throughout reality. Um, so you see this shot of Loki. Uh, this is from Thor Ragnarok when he came back to Asgard. Then here's another shot from the first Avengers movie when Loki is defeated and finally captured then he is looking away so this could either be because he just saw the death of himself or it could be for that Avengers scene just because he hates the Avengers and doesn't look like looking at him so there's that then we have um well it looks like some TVA soldiers looks like maybe they just came through a portal a time portal or something and then you see this big logo for some sort of big company and it says rocks cart now, this could be an alternate reality version of Roxxon, the Marvel Comics energy company that has some big storylines in the comics. It was he heavily featured in the Cloak and Dagger series as well. Um, but this looks like a an alternate version because this is Rock's cart, and this could also be tied to the main villain as well. Then we got some guy, he's got his hands up, you know, don't shoot me because... I'm innocent or maybe he's not who knows don't know who that is but somebody here is sitting here and looking at different security cameras and watching them so somebody is watching Loki now this could just be the TVA or this could be the villains or maybe the TVA is the villains who knows especially if Kang is in charge like the Council of Kangs who knows then we, we we go back to this elevator that we saw at the beginning with Owen Wilson's Mobius character and Loki. And I have a feeling that because of the different patterns on the elevator thingy to choose which floor to go to, that maybe the elevator is actually your portal to these different time periods and different realities. Um, because you do, you do see blast marks on the ground there, so that could totally be from the energy of time traveling. Then this is another really interesting shot here because you have another scene with Owen Wilson and that's cool and everything, but you zoom in 
on this like uh, this glass window here, uh, which looks really cool. And you see some sort of devil figure here with uh, flames at the bottom and everything. And this could possibly be our first official look at Mephisto in the MCU, who I believe will be introduced in the WandaVision Disney Plus series. Because WandaVision is a big character in the Marvel comics. Um, he's literally the devil. Um, so it would make sense if that's who this is. Then, speaking of Owen Wilson, in the same scene, as you can see, there's this little girl, and she's handing something to Mobius, but... I'm not completely sure what it is, but it's Owen Wilson, so who cares? He's awesome. And then we see again that character at the beginning where we saw the three heads, like the judge character that was sitting there in front of them. Looks like she is with two other TVA members. They got some sort of batons. Look like Looks like they're ready to go into battle. Then Loki is also ready to go into battle wearing an official TVA uniform, which we saw via some leaked set photos. And of course, he also has his signature daggers back that I love seeing him use in Thor Ragnarok. Then we have this scene, which for some reason a lot of people thought was Natasha Romanoff Black Widow. Like, oh my god, guys, Black Widow is in the Loki trailer. But no, that that's... That's Sophia Martino's character. That is either Lady Loki or Enchantress. So, I don't know why everybody was thinking that. You know, maybe because it looks like Vormir and I guess her hair looks darker. But I don't know. That That's that's Sophia Martino's character. So, not Black Widow. But then, look at this shot. This is an awesome shot here. Where you see a, an alternate reality where it looks like the Earth has been destroyed. You see the Avengers built tower in the background completely destroyed and loki is here down there uh looks like you got a nice little fire hydrant as well um so yeah definitely things did not go well here then one of the final parts here in the trailer is we see loki he is on a plane he's looking all snazzy and stuff with the glasses with the short hair and everything uh very much like tom hiddleston in real life except you know with black hair here um, then we get another shot of s another alternate reality where you see Loki there in the background. Uh, looks like they're having a party here. And then this character, the fur around his shoulders and the suit very much reminds me of M'Baku and the Jabari tribe. So this could be a possible tie to that or it could just be some random guy that just likes to wear fur. So who knows? And then, like I said, we go back to that airplane scene where he jumps out of the plane. And then uh, he says something about, like, brother and Heimdall. And then he gets taken away by the Bifrost. So this does confirm that he is currently in a timeline and a reality where Heimdall is alive. But I doubt we'll actually see him. Uh, we'll probably just see him summoning the Bifrost and everything. But it's still going to be cool to see. Um... So yeah, guys, that was my trailer breakdown for Loki. There was a lot in this. This is our first official look at the series, and there was so, so much here. And I can't wait to see this series. It's coming out on Disney Plus in May, so I can't wait for this. Can't wait to get a second trailer and all that good stuff. So guys, let me know down in the comments below, what did you think about this trailer? Were there any other Easter eggs or references or any other teases here that i missed let me know and also all of your th thoughts on this trailer so thanks much for watching please drop a like if you enjoyed this video and hit the subscribe button so i can keep you up to date on everything goes on in the marvel life